What's up guys, it's your boy Flex. So today, we off to headquarters. My gym, that's the name of the gym, it's a private gym, it's called My Gym. It's in Cape Town, in town Ruland Street. We call it the headquarters. The check-in with coach. Today we're also doing push and pull, which is on shoulders, chest, and back. It's gonna be interesting, it's gonna be interesting. My first Saturday doing a push and pull. As you guys can see, or just informing you guys, we are officially 14 weeks out of prep, out of competition, show day. 26th of October. And I'm actually, excited for this journey. I'm excited more this year than what I was in 2021. 2021 it was three competition in one month and uh, yeah it was some it was some type of year. But this year is different. This year I'm more present trying to endure. No matter what the outcome is we know it's gonna be no stone unturned. <sighs> also sitting today with a slight, I won't say it's a shoulder relief basically, but been for the past couple of six to eight weeks, a shoulder injury. It's more like a nerve, which also worked up to the trap. Actually came from the Cairo yesterday. And uh, excited for the recovery. I mean, there's more flexibility now, and these are things that we, that we will endure. And it's always come prep time. So even with with prep, it's always old injuries, something that always pops up, but we try and work around it. I'm very more in tune with myself and my body, focusing on injuries, making sure I'm stretching more. My flexibility movements, it's, it's improving, can get better. And yeah, over, over all things has been, it's been going. It's been going, the mindset is the, Definitely. I mean, you can't be focusing on prep if you if your mind is not there, because it's definitely going to be something that it's not normal to your daily routine, healthy eating, dieting for a comp, and prepping. It's it's much more different. It's like science. It's like science. You understand your body. Focus on weak points, improving, not just from the training but nutrition as well. And it's always good to have someone that can coach you properly, that understands your body. And that's where we're off to the headquarters to meet up with coach AV the Beast and uh, probably doing a check-in today. Although check-ins are only on Sundays, but you'll still be eaten for now. Some uh, footage of the physique will only be shown close to the time. But for now, we'll keep things on the low. But like I said, today is push and pull and uh, we're going to show you guys, run you guys through a couple of workouts, what we do. And yeah, just enjoy, just enjoy being part of the journey, leading up to the comp. We'll try and, I'll try my best to be consistent with, I won't necessarily say consistent with my training, <laughs> although you have to train every single day, my Sundays or my rest day. But uh, this is really exciting, it's really exciting like this year, looking forward to, to actually a prep where the mind is there, than a prep where I was, I wouldn't say negative headspace, but not in a good mental state. Sometimes prep can get the most of you, especially if you can't handle certain things within life itself, because as a bodybuilder, it's not just competi It's not just a comp that you're focusing on. You still have your work, your career field that you have to focus on. Family, take, taking care of business, ensuring that you are still good while being on prep. And uh, it plays a big role, ensuring that everything, everything aligns. And it's good to have a team that's also there. And I'm happy to have a very supportive team. I mean, shout out to Robin Gosman the man behind the camera that captures 99% of everything that you guys have been seeing um, and he's definitely be 
hope he has enough space for all <laughs> for all the videos that's to come but uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a journey to look forward to but like you guys know today saturday 14 weeks out let's make the most of it So we find the year guys today. It's push and pull. I'm not sure what else coach has installed but this is we we actually start giving our all. We start focusing on the goal, trying to be present through every moment. And uh, and I'm going to be present through all the sweat and pain that I'm about to go through now. But catch you guys inside it. Yeah. Mm. Just bring it slightly lower. 
stretch inside, especially when you're doing your leg pull downs. You want to get a nice eccentric uh, stretch inside your leg, opening it up, coming down and be squeezing for two seconds to activate those red blood cells. Because most people would swing, swing, and they would pause, leaving the elbow not straightened out. The idea is to keep it stretch as far up as possible. Have a nice stretch instead of locking in the lat. So to optimize the full lat, you want to try and get that full extension through a full range of motion when doing the back. I mean we all want that to retouch your back, eh? We call it the cobra. And that's what we're trying to get this in. Get the cobra back again. But taking it day by day. Let's go. on the upper pick, especially from my shoulder that I was worried about because uh, incline used to be a problem due to my deltoid, so this will my shoulder twice but the contraction now it's much better and this is the first time we're doing a push and pull on a Saturday and on one day. Usually it would just be either just back, just shoulders but just cheese. But we look forward to the journey and oh. Oh, he says but as long as we know we we're climbing the ladder and we're seeing the results and we're activating. That's one thing you guys need to have to focus on when training is that you have the mind to muscle connection. Most people train hour, hour and a half to get done, to finish up uh, and enjoy the day. We it should be about training but being inside the tissue inside the muscle. That's why we call it mind to muscle connection. It's easy to move weights. You can bench 100 and 50, 200. But someone that benches 60 might have more activation within inside the muscle than somebody that's just moving weights. Unfortunately, I'm not a weightlifter. I'm a bodybuilder. And uh, it's all about art. Carving and creating the final product. But enough chitty chat. It's beautiful. consume and you shit a lot consume and shit a lot but uh, that's what we try and do and that's something people neglect it's like 
get in the cardio. Uh, they don't realize how important it is to get to a goal that you want. Doing what we do, it's not, it's not simple. It looks simple, but it's not. So, coming into a gym or seeing a picture, seeing somebody with the end result, oh, I want that. It's easy to want. What are you willing to do? And what are you willing to give up? To give up your normal life, to create something completely different, that's gonna better yourself. Because I mean, who comes to a gym and this doesn't better their lifestyle, their business, their career field? Out gymming actually improves so much more outside, outside of gym, which is family relationships, your business, your mind as well. You can't, you can't, you can't mess around when it comes to training and that. That sets the tone. I believe this is your therapeutic session. You don't need somebody to talk to. Talk to these bad boys. can happen but people try not to be they never present they never enjoy the route they always want the end result but that's that's life itself you're here today you're gone tomorrow but are you being true to yourself in living i mean any career field you choose any journey in life can be the journey you chose you don't have to be a lawyer you don't have to be a bodybuilder you don't have to be a musician you can become anything but where do you see yourself in that career field do you see yourself here as a musician or do you see yourself at, up there do you see yourself here as a bodybuilder or do you see yourself up there you get to choose that journey and most people don't live through to themselves they wake up every day looking for confirmation you don't need you see yourself before the world sees you and you get to decide how you want the world to see you before you leave your door in the morning. So be true to yourself. You can fool people around you, but you can't lie to yourself. Eh? Oh. Last one. Oh. I'm actually feeling this now.
There's a whole pen as I saw that. Lean forward more, arch. Oh, no, no, lean forward, come back. Lean forward, then arch, chest out. There we go, stay there. All the way up, full stretch. Full stretch. Full stretch. Yeah, let's solve the problem. Yeah. Today's session guys, some back push and pull, back, shoulders, chest and uh, it was good, felt some good contractions, felt, it felt nice to do some posing again with coach, for that we won't be showing, but uh, so now just to get it in, day in day out, looking forward to, uh, oh, post workout meal, rice krispies, and uh, whey protein. Oh, and that's not milk mix there. It's water. So, post workout meal going down. And then just to get home and rest a bit. And take the day out, goes. Take whatever comes my way. And yeah. But most of all, it was a good session. Made the most of it. And stay tuned for the next one. It's your boy Flex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>